In this video, we're going to unbox a mystery parcel. Hi guys, Mike back again with another mystery unboxing. A few weeks ago, Callum and Harry over at Tabletop Banter, link below, um, did a 24-hour live stream where they um, each took a Betrayalic Calf box set uh, and some additional minis to make up a 1,500-point force. And they both, from opening the box, uh, uh, built, painted, um, and pretty much completed two 1,500-point armies in um, in 24 hours, basically. Hell of a feat. They were raising money for charity as they were doing it. Uh, and uh, they were also doing a, a kind of a raffle, like a prize draw, as part of the uh, a part of the 24-hour live stream. I was lucky enough to win one of the prizes. Uh, apparently, it's a paint station. Uh, it's come from the XLC, I know, because that's their symbol. Um, but I don't know what the XLC paint station looks like or what it's all about. So uh, it's just arrived today, and I'm going to unbox it. So we'll have a look. Now, I have had experience with the XLC before. Um, they had a Kickstarter running not so long ago for some scenery, which I did a video about. Very, very impressed with it. So if the paint station is on par with the scenery, I'm going to be very, very happy. So that's an empty box. So we'll see what we get. There we go. Certainly got a bubble wrap on it. <laughs> okay, right. Phew, we got in. Right, the XLC paint station. Printed MDF paint station that is simple to assemble, pre printed and ready to assemble, laser cut from printed 3 and 6 mil MDF. Peel off protective backing, glue it together. Glue's not included. That's okay, I've got plenty of glue. So we'll just have a quick look. See what it's see what it's all about. It's very nicely done, very nicely packaged. I've been using um, the old wooden GW paint tray for decades, literally. I must have been using it for twenty years, um, and it stands me well. It stands me very well. I do like it, uh, but it's always nice to see different things from different people, different manufacturers. Um, I'm liking this mind. This is a. Uh, Glossy paper, nicely printed, colour instructions. So that's pretty impressive there. Shows you what to do, carefully remove the backing film, do not glue centre panel so it remains removable, assemble with wood glue, job done. Lots of pictures to send you on your way, fantastic. So it looks like it's made up of a couple of side bits and some... Um, paintbrush holders and there's the central bit there it says and then this bit is removable from the middle I think the idea is that you can put a cutting mat in this hole move that camera down a bit yeah so you can uh, put a cutting mat in there so this wooden bit comes out you can put a cutting mat in there and do your cutting uh, without damaging your, your paint table and there's the base there. That's really cool. I'm gonna glue this together and I'm gonna show you what it looks like finished with all the backing paper peeled off. So I'll catch you in a sec. Okay guys, we're back with the finished paint station and it's really, really nice. Really nice quality. Uh, went together really easily as you might expect. Um, yeah, so this is this is it. So yeah. It's got, well, it's, 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 a, it's a building station, paint station. I'm going to use it for a build station, just because of the feature that it's got here. Um, yep, so it's got a base, and then this top bit, which sits on top, and the sides, 
then hold in. You can see that there's two different bits of there's the bottom section and the top section. Um, the handle sides glue in to hold all that together, and then a couple of brush holders that line up all the holes there. Um, I just glued the back, um, the back of this and the front of this just so it didn't flap about. Um, but other than that, this this, this this is not the top bit of wood is not glued to the bottom bit of wood. But like I say, I've just secured these edges because the sides hold it in and yeah, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's really nice, really nice quality. Um, it's really, um, yeah, fit for purpose really. Like I said, I'm gonna use it for a build station uh, because I've, I've already got a paint station that I like and I'm used to, so that, that's really cool. But this has got a brilliant feature, which which uh, uh, kind of makes me feel I wanna use it as a build station. So this section comes out, and then this section here is big enough for an A4 size cutting mat. Fits exactly, and I uh, I bought a new one specially for it. So yeah, self self healing cutting mat, A4 size, 30 by 22 centimeters. Um, yeah, so that's going to be brilliant. I, I got you know these little paint pot holders uh, will <laughs> will be little receptacles for bits as I'm kind of building. I can sort of see just little little bits off to the side while I'm cutting and building and gluing and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with it. Highly recommended. Uh, it retails for £25 on the xlc.co.uk. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a really, really nice thing. Really nice quality. Went together beautifully, as I've said. And like I say, that feature of fitting the A4 cutting mat in, in the slot it's really sells it for me. So that's it. So if you're interested, go and take a look. And uh, that's it for this one, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.